Let's talk about editing the CSS of Info Windows and Legends in CardoDB entirely using the web interface. So by default with the web interface, if we look at uh, Legends, you're able to add items to your legend using this part of the interface. You can also change the HTML by clicking on that code button. So that's right here, change HTML. And once you're in here, you're able to style the elements in the HTML or create new elements and style those. So for example, um, if <clears throat> If I was editing my legend here, and um, so I can set the color here using a hex value, I can also go to the HTML and change the background here. Uh, just as a quick example, I'll show you with red, um, although that's clearly not what I want to do with this map. That's an option to you. You can, you can just change the background right here. Um, you can do more complex things. For example, maybe circles don't make sense for these. Um, you might want to make these, um, they're called bullets in CardoDB. You might want to make those bullets square. And the way you would do that <clears throat> is by changing uh, a couple of the CSS properties and to do that, I'm going to first open Developer Tools. In Chrome, that's under More Tools, Developer Tools. And I'm going to close this console so that I'm just looking at the HTML and the CSS. So <clears throat> this is sort of unique in that we're both looking at the HTML for CardoDB and for our map and the elements on our map. Um, so that's a little weird, but um, you'll get used to that. So um, I'm going to use the inspect element tool to find one of the bullets. So I'm hovering over until only that bullet is highlighted and I click on that. <clears throat> And you can see that the HTML is highlighted over here. You can see that it's very similar to the HTML in this window, which is a good thing. Um, and you can see the other properties that are set in CSS for, um, for the bullets as a whole. So this style here on the right applies to all bullets in a CardoDB legend. And the most interesting one here, if we're trying to make the bullets square instead of circular, is the border radius. So if I turn off the border radius, uh, so there must be something else that's setting the border radius somewhere. Uh, okay. So I might need to set that explicitly to zero. Okay, and when I set it to zero, you see that all of these turn to squares. <clears throat> okay, so um, unfortunately, due to um, security concerns, CardoDB does not let you add a style element. So for example, it used to be that you could put a style element up at the top of your legend or info window, and you could say um, style all the bullets, like this. Um, that's pretty annoying. So you used to be able to do this, and I would say border radius zero. Um, that's not going to have any effect anymore. So you can't do it that way, so don't don't really bother trying to do it that way. Uh, the only way to edit CSS in 
CutterDB info windows and legends now is in the style attribute for each of these. So part of part of the reason that's a bummer is um, we're gonna have to do that for as many bullets as we have in this case. Um, so what I'm going to do is say I'll put a semicolon after the background color and then say border radius zero semicolon. And I'm just going to go back and copy that and try to paste that. Unfortunately, the autocomplete in this editor gets in your way a lot. Um, so it'll pop up like that. And if you hit enter, it will add the color like that. Um, what you need to do is hit escape. And that will get rid of it. Escape. OK. So I'm going to do it to my last two bullets here. OK. And now when I hit apply, you should see, let's use the um, select element tool to find one of the bullets again. Let's try another bullet just for fun. And when I click on that, you see that element.style not only contains the background color, but it also contains the border radius, in this case, zero. So now we have squares. Um, so <clears throat> even though you cannot change the style for an entire class or an entire set of elements in CutterDB's interface, I recommend doing it this way just to get an idea of what they will all look like. So for example, if I was considering making them wider, I might come in here and try it out and say, sure, 15 looks great. And then I would go ahead and copy and paste it into the style attributes for each of my bullets. Um, another thing you might want to get rid of in this case is the border. Um, and we might have to just set it to zero. Yeah, so that looks a little bit, a little bit less cluttered without the border. But again, the changes that we're making right here don't have any effect if I say refresh the page. When I refresh the page, um, those changes are reset except for the ones that I came into the legend dialog and copied into the style attributes for each bullet. Okay, so there are a couple of other things that you can edit. So you can make your legend wider if you want. And to do that, I'm going to pick the topmost element and add a style attribute. And in the quotes, I'm going to say width, um, let's make it 200 pixels and you can see that it gets wider. You can also make it taller. Um, you can play around with that a little bit. Unfortunately, if you try to set the background color to something, blue is probably not the best call, um, but it's not going to look very nice. And the reason for that is we are inside other elements that we do not have access to to style. So the other elements, if I use the select element tool, they're going to be out here. Um, so there's this Cardo DB legend wrapper and legend stack. You don't have access to those in this interface, so you have no effect over them. Um, it's unfortunate, but um, that is one of the limitations to editing CSS through the CardioDB interface. And if you do want to make more advanced changes like that, I would recommend using JavaScript. And once you have control of the JavaScript, you can edit the style of the map as much as you want. So this is just um, for smaller changes, like the ones we just looked at. Um, you're not going to be able to fully customize how your info window and legend look. Okay, so that's the legend. Um, you can do the same exact thing with info windows. Uh, in this case, I'm already in the HTML view. Let's open one of those so you can see what that looks like. 
Okay, so I made one of these strong earlier when I was editing the HTML. I can do lots of other things. I can um, I can use the select element tool here and say maybe I don't like how these H4s are faded out so much um, because their color is gray. So I might edit here to get an idea of what they will look like. I'll use the color picker here. Um, let's see, what do I want these to look like? I think darker is fine. I'll, I'll just, I'll do basically black, um, actually black rather. Um, so in this case, <clears throat> I used the um, developer tools to change the color for all of them. But again, exactly like with the legend, I would have to put that in a style attribute. Um, color RGB. Whoa. Never mind that. Um, I'm going to close the developer tools because that will happen to me again. And when I apply, let's refresh just to make sure that that took effect. Yep, that worked. So again, if I wanted that to be the case for all of my H4s, unfortunately, I'm going to need to find the whole style attribute, copy it, and paste it. Oops, I did not copy very well. Make sure you get both the double quotes. And when I save, now those are all styled the same way. OK, so similarly to before, um, you can change the width, although the width in this case, <clears throat> let's see what we have access to. We have the Carter to be pop up in our HTML here. So we have Carter to be content, pop up, pop up content, Carter to be pop up content wrapper. That is this element right here. And then we have Carter to be pop up V2 right here. So we can style up to here. So we should be able to change the background color of this. Let's make it beige. Yeah, so in, so in this case, it's a little bit more successful than trying to edit the background color for the legend. So if you wanted to, you could change the background color. Um, again, you would add a style attribute up here. And then say background color beige. You can also play around with the width and height, although in my experience, this doesn't always turn out exactly as you wish. So let's make sure we have the pop-up. Um, let's see, so we can play around with editing the width here. That looks pretty good. Um, in past situations, it has not been quite as good. Um, let's play around with the height also. Okay, so I made it shorter. Um, that's generally going to break things. I can maybe add overflow auto, and that's a little bit better. Um, so now it should scroll. Yeah. Um, although while it's scrolling, the the close button is a little bit messed up. So you you can definitely style these a bit more than the legends, I would say, but. It's going to take a lot of work to to fully customize them, and you might be better off, as I said before, using the JavaScript library to do that, which I'm not covering in this case. Okay, so I see that I have one, I have this tip here that is not styled beige, 
So I want to go in and find find it with the element selector. Uh, that's it. Okay. So th I actually don't know if I'm going to be able to change this in CSS. So let's see. Background. Fish. No. So um, <clears throat> they're doing some tricky stuff to make the tip, which you generally have to because in Carter CSS there isn't really the concept of a triangle. Um, usually you're stuck with square things, with rectangular things, with rounded edges sometimes, but, but not really triangles. Um, so that's why that isn't going to work. So um, one thing you could do if you wanted to is just get rid of the tip. And uh, okay, looks like it's still there. So yeah, it would take a bit more tweaking to really, really fully customize the info window, but hopefully this has given you an idea of what that involves and what the limitations are. Really quickly before I move on, I want to go to publish, get the link, and just make sure that my styles are actually coming through as I expect. So yes, my legend, the, the bullets are square. And if I open the info window, yeah, it looks pretty decent. It looks pretty close to what we were going for.